Hello, hello. Good evening to my EU friends and what? Good late evening, good morning to all of my Southeast Asian friends. And good afternoon to all my NA friends. His attack is really low. We need to start farming some more, uh, more fatal runes. A lot of my defense scaling monsters really need uh, some more attack. What's up, my guys? We got Dark Goku no. We got Richard in the chat. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. A little later to the stream than I wanted to be. Uh, my wife has got some uh, work training stuff tonight, so we'll just do some stream today. Not like when I. It's not like I only stream when she's gone. It's just a little bit easier to do that. I don't like spending too much time away. I did. I did have a good weekend. Uh, we do... Um, my longtime IRL friends, we do D&D &D on the weekends. So Friday was our D&D &D session. Make sure we got everybody ruined up. We're gonna do some PvP here. <laughs> I don't think anything was too crazy. Um, I had to roll, I essentially, um, so my character had a spicy seat. So I had a couple rolls having to do with that. The whole campaign is not that, but for some odd reason, my character got himself into a, uh, a spicy situation, so. I rolled relatively low, so I was not able to get full descriptions of the spicy scene from my DM, so. It's uh, me, my wife, our, our DM, his wife, and then two of my other close friends from high school. I have listened to it, yeah. Um, I don't listen to D and D podcasts on the regular. I probably would. There's just so much to do, you know. Pick and choose what you want to do with your time. <laughs> Wish I could do it all. It's actually um so funny. Our uh, our little group sometimes we'll do like the question thing where we ask different hard questions, and one of them uh, obviously comes up as you know superpowers, but we get really deep and nerdy into it. I think I would love the ability to not sleep like like if it was something that was like kind of I don't know. That's not realistic, but you know what I mean? Like nothing crazy. Like if I didn't have to sleep and my body would still be absolutely fine, not sleeping. I'd love that. I'd be able to do so many more things like not just like work things, but just like fun things, too. I just like 
I like sleeping just like everybody else does, right? But like, I hate the idea that I've just spent six plus hours, six, seven hours just like doing nothing. I'm ranting. Where are my monsters? We're doing some PvP. Go Annabelle. Taco the wizard, just say something spicy. <laughs> I uh, definitely need my Annabelle. She is really good. Annabelle's pretty strong, guys, up against Tessarion. Not only because she's, you know, water. She puts out a decent amount of damage, but she also um, cleanses the Oblivions every couple seconds. So that's an important one. Yeah, Spidey Senses would be pretty dope, too. Run out of things to do. I don't know, there's always something to do. Like you just said, I could listen to a podcast. I could play more games. You know, I could, you know, pick up another hobby. You know, there's all kinds of things to do. But the, the trick was, is like you had to make sure your body was capable of not having the mental fatigue of not sleeping. Right. Like, obviously, all of us, we've done a 24 hour plus, you know, stay up. But our, our minds just get mentally fatigued. So I'd, I'd have to make sure that that was good. Like, I didn't suffer from that either. Um, why does my Shushu not have a rune? What is he? Oh, it's probably the Harg rune? No, it wouldn't be the Harg rune. I guess it is the Harg rune. Really? It's another energy rune. I need more runes, my guys. My runes be lacking. I guess we'll take. We're probably not going to use Frigate too much. Still working on it. Um, haven't done a ton of TM recently. It's just, you know, hard to get people together. Um, but we can now farm, technically, we can farm Borbo for Despair, but Borbo's kind of broken right now. Um, check this out. I don't know if he's still... Can I hold this? Okay, look at that HP. 3,169,000. He is like more than double every other boss. Yes, yes, you can, Joshua. So like uh, once you guys get the announcement that a uh, hard mode comes out, or I'm not sure which uh, server you're at. Um, but yeah, start saving those tickets for hard mode. Honestly, for EU, it's going to be right around the corner. Yeah, he's got 3 million plus HP. So it yes, I can do it, but it just takes literally the whole five minutes to do it. It should, yeah, it should be the same on the, the West Coast servers too. This is, uh, this is what we've kind of partially been crying about right now. Like, I don't think this is intended. Like, he is triple the HP of the next hardest one. Yeah, like, I, I can do him, too. Like, I do um, Annabelle, Theomars, and... That's that a thing? I forget. But yeah, I can do it, too, but it's just, like, five minutes. All right, let's do some PvP, guys. I actually did get some some raids done earlier. I need to do Naraka and Twisted Marsh, so I might post in Discord, see if I get some people together. <laughs> did uh, West Coast get their merge yet, or is that on Thursday? So you guys are merging. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. Yeah, I don't feel like we're feeling it too much over here on the East Coast. Um, but I don't I don't know what the environment was like over there. Probably hard to find cues. Cool. Unknown. It's, he's not from our server. Yeah, I don't do any like super auto overnight farming stuff. I have a hard time because I need my phone. <laughs> um, let's see. We always start out with Juno, I guess. Juno's just really, really good. That was quick. How many bonus is the third summon? Over just have two? I'm not sure I understand your question, uh, Xerix. Third summon over just have two. Got the Kumar too. going to be rough. How many bonus does the third summon over, over just two? I mean, what do you mean by mo like bonus? Like, you get a bunch of rewards for doing the third summon or going through the story. So, like, I finished the story on all my summoners. That's an interesting one. I think I go for Kumar. We'll have to see. Yeah, Kumar seems to be the squishiest here, so. But I don't know. It's going to be tough. I'm going to need Annabelle to land a defense break. And then I need to save up some stuff. Oh, he's got that despair. Or not the despair, the destroy going on. <laughs> oh, are we stunned right now? What's going on? Oh, I'm silenced. my chance delete it no <clears throat> ah, she didn't get the strip off on that defense break she got that heal off though mm. come on kind of have to go for the strips here it's just god the aerial is just so strong Did I not get a defense break just then
Got him. Okay, now we just gotta survive. Juno. I was so close. That's the end for me, though. get like no healing now so I should just lay down defense breaks god Ariel is just so strong man I'll just don't want to build them right now because I just don't have any. Mm. Yeah, for sure, damage cleave is still a thing. It's gonna take a second for damage cleave to catch back up to the to the monsters because now with six star runes out, monsters are like like the balance was like your summoner was almost more important than your monsters in some cases. But now it's like all the monsters being pretty strong. It's a lot harder to kill them. Uh, well, a damage cleave typically is like your priority is on the necklace. That's your big your big decision. Uh, what necklace you go. Yeah, exactly. Crit damage, defense, defense is primarily your, your damage cleave. Now, when you're talking about like substats, it's, it's kind of hard to like decide because you don't really get a lot of choice. Because like what you roll is what you roll <laughs> until a really late game when you're starting to refine stuff. Hey, good evening, Giselle. That's right. It's uh, later in the evening for you guys in Paris, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know, your subs you want attack or damage, attack, defense, all that kind of stuff. I was just saying it's tough to like play the sub game. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Mm, took the Anavel. I don't like that. with the Miriong. For sure, yeah, a little bit of HP is good. Uh, I mean, you don't need a hundred percent crit rate, but for sure, you know, getting up there in the crit rate is is good. Who am I most scared of? Honestly, that Mira Young is kind of scary. But so is all the amount of healing. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
<laughs> yeah, that Akasha is pretty tough too. Strip it. Oh, ah, she's got her invents up. Dang it. Didn't notice that. There goes the oblivion and that's it. Ah. How do I still how do I still have oblivion on me? I killed him a while ago. I was spamming my Teor um trying to kill off that Akasha and then she got her invents up. Dark Ifrits, uh, Dark Vamp Hunters, uh, Vamp Hunter once. Uh, Ifrits, I've actually never gone up against the Veramos outside of PvE content. Uh, do you think Cleef still is good in arenas? Um, yes, yes. Cleef is still at the top of the charts, for sure. I mean, honestly, Orbi is phenomenal. You just play based on your play style. Like, if you want to chase the meta, you can chase the meta, but I don't suggest it. Um, Orbi is phenomenally better at PvE content. Like, getting through Galagos, doing all the dungeon runs. Like, Cleef has got such a hard time with a lot of PvE content. So, and PvE content is what makes you better at PvP. There's plenty of top, top tier Orbias uh, in... Uh, Brawl Arena. <laughs> and there's so many like small decisions that you make within a battle that it's like, you know, just because you're Cleef doesn't mean that you're going to do better in PvP. You got to bring in the right monsters. You got to make the right decisions. You got to know when to switch. Indeed, always go face. Yes, Kina by far, Sean, you're right, I think is the best in raids. Uh, right now, our Kina in my guild is our top uh, raid <laughs> raid boss killer. What am I most scared of right now? Um, I think it has to be the Galleon. Yeah, like for a while there, it was the Orbias, Windstaff, right? They just, you know, took over world bosses and raids and stuff, but nah, not anymore. Kina's 100%. Okay, this is going to be tough. They're chasing after my... Ah, <sighs> uh, she's gonna get it again. Oh, 
my shoe shoe is so broken. <laughs> And there goes Annabelle. I just don't have damage to be able to snipe Shushu. It's just... All right. I'm having a rough time right now. I'm literally playing all different server right now. Not really. Red Panda's not that great for Cleave. Honestly, I don't think Red Panda is that great, period. Yeah, Kina Kina's my weakest. I wonder if it still would be uh, <laughs> like I still got some like four star equipment on her. Like, I literally haven't touched. I've been definitely working on my Orbia on the side, you know, doing dailies and stuff with my Orbia. I'm going to get, wow, she's going to, yeah, she's going to destroy me. Probably El Shurion next. I can get another heal here. Who's getting my invincibility? Uh, unfortunately, my Bastet is getting my invincibility. to get a defense break first. There we go. Yeah, for sure. He wouldn't be bad. That's like, I'm definitely going to be building up my Sir Titties here. Like, between him and Teor... Test is a good mod for everybody. <laughs> uh, any spoiler about the mechanic on the Wind Ifrit? It's very similar to the Bastet event, but just not as many rewards. Oh, we got Bag Space. <laughs> Bag Space is a uh, high level player. I should not be facing him. Yeah, uh, Green Witch is definitely pretty good in PvE in a lot of situations.
Uh, for sure, yeah. Most people should be able to um, farm up at least, like, their Tessa and then maybe even skill up a second Ifrit. It's not like the Bastet event where you can like skill up all three of them if you really farm it, but it's still a really good event if you farm it. Yeah. Oh, what, are, what? Oh, she got she got stunned. <sighs> I'm not getting the freezes off because of the invincibility. Oh, oh, this might be the end. Goes the Juno. <sighs> Freaking Shoo Shoo is just so strong, man. I feel like whenever I go up against Red Panda, I feel like they're pretty squishy. And like, I don't know, I feel like I've always been able to knock them out pretty quickly. And a lot of times I'm not even focusing the Red Panda and I, I still still knock it out pretty quickly. But that's just my my experience with it. It's still an extremely solid monster. You can see here, lots of people are still using it uh, here at the high levels. Lens, continuous recovery, all that. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got. Like, I like the idea of the water when they don't have immunity. That was my problem. I stayed on water way too long, but they had so much immunity, so I wasn't getting the freeze procs. I'm gonna try it again and see if I can go a little more immunity and take it away from him. But he, he might pick up immunity right away, we'll see. Because the water staff new skill is like, every time they hit you on a cooldown, like, it'll freeze them. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this and then I'll go to your.
think we're banning the Ethna right now. Because right now the Ethna is going to go for Tessarion. Man, I wish I had my Sertides here against the Chloe. Okay. What's up? How are you? Thanks for stopping in. Ban my own monster. I don't want to ban my own monster. Ah, that's a hard one. <laughs> Banned his own galleon. Interesting. His only real damage is Theomars. Getting wrecked right now. The hell? What? What is this damage coming out right now? Like I'm what? Um, where was all the? I mean, I guess the Theomars. I have to look back at that. What in the world? man had a mission he knew exactly what he was doing yeah there's the theomars damage that platy debuff does that stop me from getting endured I didn't pop endure, I didn't think. Decrease summer skill cooldown. Yeah, Platy is pretty strong. Just so many monsters I want to build. Just don't have the resources. <laughs> Ask about light hell. I don't have a light hell lady, so I don't know. Can't tell you if she's good or bad. But she is your LD Nat 5 now, so you have to respect her. Uh, Tayar accuracy? I don't think he needs that much accuracy. Hey, you're again. I'm about to get stomped. Um, the water's just not been working out. It's not proccing like I want it to. A Sema, right? Yeah, it's a Sema, the Light Hill Lady. <laughs> Eliona's the most broken LD Nat 5 in the game, so there you go. I can give you that one. I don't even have her, and I can tell you that one. <laughs> he, he was going to do that. He, he was baiting out about water monsters. Um, let's see. Who am I more scared of? <laughs> Fang Yang's pretty scary.
This is a defense scaling monster. This one's an HP scaling monster. GG's Rue. I feel like he had me in the pick ban stage, though. I feel like he definitely out pick banned me. I think, guys, make a phone call real quick.
Sorry, guys, I'm back. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. I'm gonna let this play out, though, because my mons might be, uh, might be carrying it. We'll see. I'm just gonna let this Theo die. Oh, Teor is gonna die. Okay, got a little shield here. Switch to wind. Couldn't burst through. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. He's even got the defense break on there. So my Taylor is not putting out the damage. Yeah, boys. Let's go. Mons carry. That one might be a YouTube video. We'll see. <laughs> I can see the thumbnail now. It's, um, you know, no summoner question mark. I don't know. Uh, what playlist am I running? These guys right here, white bat audio. Um, I got a link down in the description. I, I love all of white bat stuff. It's all royalty free and, and all that kind of stuff where it's like completely free to use the MCA. So it's pretty cool that he uh, provides that. Um, oh, energy. Wait, energy is this big boy. So I can tell that he's probably not going to go immunity monsters then. And since he's danning my water staff, he's probably not going to go immunity. Uh, what rune for my Chimera? I need to rebuild my Chimera better. He needs way more attack than he has. Uh, but right now he's like on a kind of a mixed build, just lots and lots of defense right now. A little bit of HP, actually. He's He works for now, so I'm not really changing him, but interesting. He did go the immunity. I might just ban that. We'll see. Yeah, I think that right there might confirm the ban. We'll see. Ooh, Shihu. Shihu is one of my favorite monsters in Sky Arena. He does a lot of strip, if I'm not mistaken. So here's the question. Do I leave the shoe shoe and I just soul link Teor or something? Ah. This crap again. We're going to ban that. He bans my Wusa. What's up, Jenna? <sighs> okay. See how much damage he puts out, and then I can soul link Teor, and we can try to spam down the uh, the shoo shoo. Oh, he just dodged that. Oh, he just got another heal off. Come on, Teor. Come on, Taylor. Beat him. Got him. Okay, 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 okay. Um. No. Okay, I did get a heal off. That's big. Tons of destroy, though. Who do you think's on destroy? Probably the Kumar. 
Okay, it's time to switch over to this. Go with that. Oh, no strip. What? Oh, I got stunned. Okay. Gonna go the defense break. Oh, I love Annabelle's ult. She's my favorite. Okay, it's gonna be definitely hard to strip that, but all right. Whew. I love Annabelle's ult. That's, I, I couldn't tell whether... I, I think the Kumar could be okay on Destroy too, but... Yeah, I, I'm telling you, Fire, all of his are really good. Um, I think the Wind one is the weakest. I was trying out the Water one earlier. My Water Staff is my weakest staff. Um, if they bring Immunity, it's, it's Water Staff is kind of chalked, but... Uh, there was definitely a couple times where it's like I had the water staff out and they just kept freezing them, kept freezing them. They couldn't do nothing. Um, and it was nice, but I just I didn't have damage behind my water staff to actually do anything. You know, I put a post in Discord and I haven't checked. OK. All right. Nobody responded. We're good. <laughs> Look at this little guy. So I got my crit damage necklace. So I got to run some seal at some point. Hopefully get some more wings. Need them bladed wings. Right there. Two more of them. I know I can get it in like two seal runs and, a, and two refreshes. C come on. Uh, I bought it. I know you you were around for the uh I bought I think I literally got f like four crit rate necklaces and then I finally got that one I just kept buying them from the Twisted Mars shop uh, I got it Saturday Sunday and we're gonna try this out 27. The fact that my Juno has more attack than my Teor is saddening. Lima's freaking broken. Um... But if I bring those two, I'm kind of. Hmm, this is a tough one. Kind of got to ban the Lima. Oh, I always do that. God, I'm so habitual. I, uh, I wanted to soul link my Annabelle. At least I still got two bits of healing here. It's continuous damage or continuous recovery. Got him. Ah. Oh, yeah. 
Ah, she stripped it. If I had my Annabelle. I need to put in a food order. And this time, actually have it for delivery. Man, I want my certitties to be so much better. <laughs> we'll get there. Um, I like fire staff. Okay, do not ban my own Annabelle. Um, she's typically weaker at the higher ranks. That one was built a little tankier, which is probably best. Uh, most of the time you want all of your stuff to be tankier when you're playing high level PvP. So like even my Tessa's got a HP here. Like I'm not saying he's ruined amazing, but going for that big damage what am i most scared of though um block beneficial effects is tough ban an enemy monster we're gonna ban wusa let's see let him ban one of his dps let's see what he goes for nope nope keep the shushu ban that okay he bans his own naran ha so we're gonna try to focus question is can we stay alive <sighs> guy okay, got that got the provokes on um, now the question is, we just got to keep our Teor healed up. It's going to be tough to get through this panda. So this is actually a pretty well-built panda here. Okay, got the stun on the panda. Ah, I'm not landing silence, though. I'm going to have to take the risk. Okay, we got the heal off. That's good. Did get a silence off that time. That's good. Um, I really want the defense break from Annabelle first. Got it. Okay, ult. Done. Finish. Got him. So see that? I had my ult available, and this, like, a new mistake would be, like, you know, use your ult immediately, right? But we don't want to do that. We want to wait. Annabelle's little timer was about to go out. Um, so, timer finished, Annabelle landed defense break, and then you go for your ult, and then follow up with a Q from Teor to finish it off if needed. Perfection. Ooh. That's a good one. Couple more. Then we'll go do a do a little bit more Galagos. Hmm. I feel like I've been having a lot of success with fire. I think that just the silence, the stun, 
the flame. It's all good stuff. Oh. This is dumb. Hold on. <sighs> Trying to type in a verification code. And I'm pressing the the thing, but it's not pulling up my keyboard. It's so dumb. Oh, what is what is this? You got Nigong and Sir Titties. Hey, Akbar Muhammad. <laughs> I appreciate the subscription. Thank you. Let's try this again. It's not pulling up my keyboard. What the hell? Um, yeah, that's going to be a nuisance. I'm going to ban my own Tessarion because he's got his Espino and he's going to keep that, I think. So I got Juno. That's it. Mm. Some of my favorite here. I got Fire Staff. This is going to be rough. Um, okay, I got to figure this out here. Oh, Espino, Espino. Okay. Strip. Juno just needs a little bit more accuracy. Come on, finish him off. Trip, trip, trip. Yeah, I got it. Oh, he's dead. He's dead, right? No, whoa. He was literally at 0%. Did you guys see that? Or did he just... In oh, he got instantly revived. That's why. I thought I stripped it in time. Okay, let's heal me. God bless it, man. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Kill the Nagong. Screw you. There we go. You were annoying. This Nagong's dead. He's got nothing else. This Espino's not doing anything for him. Okay. Five, four. There we go. Big damage, Teor. Two more. There we go. Finally logged in. Jeez. having issues oh boy um it's gonna hurt it's in my guild I'm pretty sure right am i right dry is in our guild <laughs> at least he's in our discord it's hard to tell sometimes um banning fire let's go here
Hmm, Neftis. Took the Shushu too. God, I cannot wait till my Sertides is like fully maxed out and ready to go. And he's going for that big damage comp, so I think we're gonna get rid of. And then ban our own Zertitis, because... Oh, sorry, buddy. Just not there yet. You were a uh, ban bait. Yeah. Should be okay. I don't know. I kind of like to have Annabelle sometimes soul linked, but... Because she has a quicker heal. Sometimes I can get a heal in before, uh... Oh, somebody's dead. Wow, my Wusa is dead, Areno. We got this, though. Okay, dead. Big dead. Let's get a heal off from her in a second. I need to go for this Tayor, maybe. And she's dead. Big dead. Wow, man, this... Frickin. <sighs> ah. Ah. Where did my where did all my mana go? GG's, GG's. <laughs> Gold three, nice. Hey, come join me. Okay, delivery. Apple Pay. Um, right now, my Juno runes are just like kind of a an energy and whatever set right now. I need to do a little bit better on her, um, like energy and uh, evasion. You can kind of play around with a lot of different rune sets with her. You could do some endure runes are fine. Uh, the evasion runes are fine. Um, energy obviously is important for the HP, but I think her best set is like a very highly efficient despair set like if i had her on a like a super highly efficient despair set she would be broken still um but at the moment i don't have enough good despair runes to make a good set mm, instant takes my tail or jeez generally i like to go tail first with the wind staff So right now it's easy aerial ban. Ooh, interesting. So I got the ban bait. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the Shushu just cause she's gonna snipe the Shushu. And we're gonna go for the Mayhu or the Jing Jay. It's typically what I would go for in this situation. Oh jeez, there's the Oblivions. Oh my god. Oh Oblivion is so strong! God! That's why I soul link Annabelle. Because it just takes too long to get to Juno's heal. Ah, oh, 
Oblivion is so freaking strong, man. All right. And so what she does is she soul links him, so that way, like, he's actually targeting the right person for the... All right. Well, you know, we're happy. We had some wins. We had some losses. Uh, we had more losses. <laughs> Quite a few more losses. 40% win rate. Jeez, damn. We had, a, we had a rough time today. Holy cow. Never could get those last couple points. That's yeah, okay. We got get some of coins. Saving up for uh, these two guys here soon. Let's see if we got exchange center. Nothing. Nothing crazy. All right. Um. I really need to do some Twisted Marsh, too. Oh, um... I'll be right back. I'm gonna use the restroom. We got one for TM. Mm. If anybody else wants TM. Randos can be rough. <laughs> Lots of points. Let's see what we get. Okay, one crystal. The other day we got quite a few crystals. I don't know. I'd rather have the 30,000 gold. Let's hop in here. This is uh, now that I have my crit necklace, I can uh, I can focus on buying despair runes out of here. Just 
is what I really need. See if we get somebody. Mox should be able to carry us. <laughs> Whoever we get. Oh, he's running the, the Shushu and the Juno. That's interesting. All right, we got Chaos Meister. It's pretty decent. It's got the inferior Lulu, though. Absolutely inferior. Actually, I don't know if this, uh, this skill, too, is actually good for this. I don't know if it puts out the same amount of BS that uh, the other one does. Oh my gosh, Mr. Ka Chaos Meister. I need you to cleanse, cleanse your poisons off, man. Uh. See... Probably what happened was is Chaos Meister here had a lot of debuffs on. And because he had the Lulu, the Lulu only healed off one at a time. Uh, and it wasn't the right ones. See, whereas Shushu, on the other hand, Shushu knows exactly what I want. Knows exactly what I need. And she cleanses off exactly what she needs to cleanse off. It was, uh, it was a match made in heaven. We love it. All right, man, look at all those debuffs. Jeez. Boom. Look at that. See all those other debuffs I have on right now? That Lulu would not know what debuff is what. <coughs> uh, anybody that's stuck at 250 power? You're not stuck. You just haven't played the game long enough. You'll get there. Um, just keep rotating through all the different content. Go back to your spires. Um, keep summoning. Um, keep leveling up and awakening monsters. Keep getting more gems um, so you can continue. Oh, I need a big heal right now. Oof. Uh, this is not good. There goes my Endure. Um, best cleanser? Could be Ariel right now. Like, just straight up cleansing? It depends. Like, Shushu is the best cleanser in the majority of content because it, uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, Lulu is right behind. If you're not worried about dots, then Lulu is a better cleanser. Because Lulu will cleanse off, like, defense break and stuff. You know, Shushu's not going to cleanse those other things. In this particular, um, fight shushu is significantly better in my opinion yeah unknown scrolls make, make sure you're popping all the scrolls because uh, you need the breath of life right you need to exchange all of those three star pieces for breath of life um keep working on doing the content doing the gyms uh the uh the, uh different events in order to get gyms um put some books some lower level books on your runes your like your really good runes It's, it's kind of just like a rotation, like in a circle. Like once you get stuck with one content, go to other content and just kind of keep going. We need to do a little friendly heal over there for him. We'll see if we can carry Chaos here. Not sure if we can or not. I do too. Yeah, Dark Goku. Annabelle's my favorite um, support in the game right now. I mean, okay, Shushu. Shushu's amazing. 
but Annabelle is my favorite support because often I don't I need more than just what the Shushu can do. So Annabelle brings the cleanse, the heals, the CC cleansing, as well as the defense break. That's what I love Annabelle the most for is the uh, that defense break. It's just a nice you don't get that with other supports. OK, we're cleansing this off now. I'll switch over to Argon. Now we got a brand. Good. Uh, okay, so yes, Juno is also, like, probably the best quote-unquote cleanser, right? Because she cleanses everything, but off of a single target. Um, so that does limit her, right? She's not an AoE cleanser. Um, so as long as you don't have... Um, as long as there's not unrecoverable on your monsters, your other monsters, they, they will benefit, obviously. Uh, I think we're about to do a... Uh, yeah, we're about to do this. Stay in here, my guy. Try to keep up our Chaos Meister. Got Mox Fox just carrying us with damage right now. I like to play uh, the mother role and just make sure that everyone's healed up. <laughs> my Shoo Shoo's keeping everybody alive with their immunity. Okay, this one's gonna hurt. That hurt, okay. I gave credit to your Lulu earlier. It, it is the inferior, um, the inferior howl for sure. Uh, but in certain situations, you know, you don't need to cleanse off certain things. And that Argon was just sitting there, my guy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, that's why Juno's broken in PvP. Um, still, even after her nerf. Yeah, yeah. So Juno will cleanse off the entirety of everything off of a single target uh, and it's I'm pretty sure it's the target that has the most debuffs uh okay Mox is good with carrying appreciate it why don't you go uh you need cleansing my guy okay oh uh, his Lulu died that's why Yeah, Juno cleanse single target and gets mana back for each debuff she cleanses. Same thing with her um, her spinny strip. Um, every strip that she does, she gets more mana back, which is why you want Juno to be super high accuracy, so she lands all of those strips all the time, getting all that mana back. Because it's like, you're kind of like, uh, like, okay, do I strip or do I heal? Like, strip or heal? Like, sometimes you just got to strip, 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 trying to kill something. And then you uh, have no mana left because you're not stripping anything. Uh, boiling water with no defense penetration? Yeah, sure. Just land a brand. Bring a Helia. Helia does the same thing. So once you land a brand, it essentially negates the whole, like, Naraka penetration issue. My guy, what, what are you doing? So if you got a crow uh, or if you got, you know, a Helia or anything else that lands brand, for the most part, it should be fine. I'm going to I have it. I saw her just do her thing, so he's going to get one. OK, OK, OK. He's good. He's good. He's learning. This boss is just knowing about what's coming, what to cleanse, when to cleanse it. I think Juno, Juno is all around one of the best supports just because she's another one of those supports that does multiple things. You know, obviously, she's an amazing cleanser. I think especially for Cleef. I think she's like the best healer for Cleef. Because Cleef likes to take all of the uh, all of the debuffs onto him. And then she can just cleanse all the debuffs off him.
Run, my boy, run. I need to switch to Hellia first for this. There we go. Land that. Land all the stuff. Do a quick one of these, and then we'll switch to Shushu. I don't like to play around with Argon on Soul Link too much. This, uh, this fight is way too long to die. Oh, this is nice. I can see their debuffs now. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Amazing for Battlefield. Feel you, bro. I did the 400 scrolls on Espen. I only got him twice. Feels bad, man. Uh, yes, not me. I mean, this is, uh, this will be your next, uh, raid that you guys get. It's Twisted Marsh. It's a tough raid, for sure. It's gonna be a really tough raid for you guys. Okay, why are we not landing debuffs right now? What's happening? My Helia is not putting out the work that she normally puts out. Okay, let's do this. Boom. And then let's switch back to Shushu. Okay, got that. And then I'm just going to cleanse off that. Okay, so she should be able to just wait right here. Let's kind of bring it over here. There we go. Ah, uh, the Naran Ha, come back. There we go. You gotta keep your summoner moving. Otherwise your monsters will like just sit in dumb places. <sighs> um, It would, but here's the thing though. If you just don't stand in the puddle, you don't you don't have to worry about the slow debuff. The slow debuff's not gonna kill me. Six stacks of poison though, that's gonna kill me. Um and, but yeah, to further answer your question, not me on yes, a cleanser is a must for this. Absolutely. Unless you're a uber super whale and you guys do a speed run. Which, I think we got some members that we could probably do that with. It's not me, though. I do not have that kind of damage. Uh, ru ru what runes to place on Shushu substats? Um, HP. All HP. Shushu needs no accuracy whatsoever. Um, so HP, defense, evasion, resistance. Those are your stats. Yeah, it's true. Exactly. It's like, what's a speed run? I don't know what that is. Kinas now. Kinas are uh, in charge of speed runs. Okay, let's get a nice little Argon thing here. Let's do another Argon, and let's do one more Argon, because I know I'll, I'll have enough mana here. There we go. But actually pick up some damage on my side. I'm not putting out any damage. I like safe runs. Okay, have the immunity up so I can do a Helia. There we go. Let's switch to... Uh, 
get the new collaboration. We get it this Thursday, right? Thursday is a collab. 27th? Yeah. So I'm definitely not going to be... I don't think I'm going to be summoning right away. Um, pretty sure Korea gets the collab before us. Like a... It's, it's generally best, guys, when banners come out, collabs come out, those sort of things, just to, like, kind of wait. Wait a second. Let some other people try it, see how it goes. Uh, and then kind of make your decision. It's always best to wait to the end of a banner to summon. What's up, Ian? How you doing? Good to see you. Good morning. <laughs> or good evening. I don't know what your schedule is. Who knows? Could be waking up from uh, sleeping all day. Uh, yeah, Korea's up tomorrow. That's right. Because they have a Tuesday cycle. Developers always love their Tuesday Thursdays. So that way they can always fix things before the weekend. Yeah, Martin, that's probably partially my bad. Because I definitely hyped up Beth a lot more than she should have been hyped up. Um, Ethna turned out to be way better than I thought. I actually made a video about that. Ethna being way better than I thought. It's quite a few snacks. Five AM productive guy, indeed. I'm a six AM guy myself. But then again, my work starts at like seven, so Um, trying to bother you, but you need to bring your monsters in. I don't know if you guys saw, uh, actually commented on Farmer's video, Chronicle Farmer's video. He was talking about running, uh, with, like, no weapons. Is this? Yeah, we're low enough. We can get right here in the middle. That would be good. Ugh, okay. This kind of stinks. Uh, we need a shoo shoo thing right now because we're at six stacks. Uh, and no, he was doing like the no weapons sort of thing, going into PvP with no weapons. And like literally, it's made for Saitama. Like, Cleef just goes in there and, and starts beating up with his fists. As soon as we get that Saitama skin, like, you're going to see like half of the, uh, the Cleef mains running into PvP with no weapons. Not a bad little rune. It's okay. Uh, I could probably do one more. Um, but we're good. Yeah, I'm good. That's that's enough. Yeah, no problem. With um, let's see. Probably do some Galagos. I got my food coming here in a second, so probably put on some uh. Some auto. We gotta do expeditions too. They do, man. And you know what's a scam? This repeat quest is a scam. So I did 20 repeats earlier. I actually needed the XP potions too, because I'm trying to level up so many monsters on my on my LD account, to be specific. Um, and I did 20 runs of this and I got three trans three trans pieces. Three. Use Juno for the pug for the strip and extra heal for the group. Yeah, I can see that for sure. Yeah, I think we underestimate the strip because I never bring a strip and there's almost always a Juno in our party. Um, I don't think it's good for everybody to have a Juno, but I think at least one Juno 
Um, and then the rest of them being Shu Shu is probably best. Got all that done. Path of the growth. I know, I got so many tickets, don't laugh at me. Ugh, all right, looks like we're doing that first. Okay, so now... That's not what I wanted. Rune combo. I just finished all the towers. Fire of Ascension is free to play in gold. Nice, bud. Congrats. Can you have my tickets? It's just that just not having time to farm is what this is. Okay, so this is kind of like what I typically do. God, there's so many buttons. I don't know what to press. Energy runes. We go here and we go apply. Um, and we're going to mostly focus on God freaking blessed. What do I, what am I trying to click here? Filter. We just go hero, right? Because that's the ones we're mostly combining. And I'll just sort of click through real quick. See if there's anything worth keeping. Like this is definitely a. Oh, wait, no, wait. These are five star runes. Nobody cares about five star runes. Um, let's go. Let's see if I have a lot of anything else. I have a lot of blade. Uh, let's go check out the blade runes. Well, that's the thing, though. I can surely put runes in storage, but I'd rather just keep up on the combinations. Accuracy, crit rate, attack. That's actually not horrible. Doesn't have any crit or anything, which is kind of sad. So I just sort of click through, look to see if anything like strikes my fancy. Typically, like you're looking for at least two good stats. Um, and that's like bare minimum two good stats for that particular type of rune. And then I'll go and I'll lock them. And then I'll just like worry free start combining stuff. And there's occasional things that could be decent for like HP. Like this is actually a Miri Young. Could be like a Miri Young one, but I might want to put Miri Young on Fatal one day. Because I've definitely underestimated the power of um, attack on my defense monsters. You got to be a little bit more careful with some of your crit damage ones because it's like you don't you don't get a ton of them. It's like this one's not horrible. Like it's got crit rate. It's got attack and precision's not bad for. I think it'll definitely be a thing once the magic archers come out because magic archers are based off of precision versus their evasion. So like this is defense. It's got crit rate, crit damage. We'll keep it. Uh, these are all five stars. We don't care about that. Attack, defense, meh. Like if we're okay, so if we're gonna do like a like defense under there, then I need defense, crit rate, crit damage. Or if we do like attack, then I need attack, crit rate, crit damage. It's like almost always has to be crit rate, crit damage in there. Like this one, like attack and defense, it splits. Now, if I had attack, defense, crit rate, perfect. I'll, t I'll keep it because that could go on a defense scaling monster like this still could go on a defense scaling monster, but. Just hard decisions you got to make. So like I'm looking at blade rune, so it's like evasion, like if I saw precision, I'd feel a little bit better about keeping this rune. But evasion is not as helpful on a blade rune. Accuracy, if I see accuracy. Uh, yeah, they have magic archers in Korea. They've had them for like a week. 
or, or a couple weeks, I thought. Accuracy is another one that's not too bad to have on a blade set. Because a lot of your uh, damage monsters also land some sort of debuff. Like segment or something like that. Ugh, it's got crit. I like this because it's all tanky, good tanky stats. But, oh wait, is that a... No, that's six star. We're good. Okay. So those are all those. I do farm a ton of rage and blades, so that's primarily what I'm looking at right now. So rage is kind of the same story here. Just looking for those substats. And then we feed the rest of them. For sure, yeah. Limited gold. I need to finish up my master. I'm almost there. I uh, hate that resistance is in there. This one's a little better because it's precision. Honestly, like... It's HP. I'd rather have these substats on a slot 6 flat HP, and I'd be a little bit more okay with that for an HP scaling monster. Um, That's a good question. I, I, I don't really know the math behind it. Um... I would say overall evasion is pretty darn good because remember evasion is counters precision which is all your basic attacks only basic attacks and then resistance counters accuracy which is all your skills and getting debuffs land man the rage rune department is just not seeing a lot of luck right now I'll keep it because it's kind of a defense scaling monster there. Ooh, here we go. This one's pretty good. This is a this could be like a Teor. this was like an energy rune mm. and there are very few autos or very few basics that do apply beneficial then those are those are tricky so yeah in that case uh for sure uh evasion would be better but it's hard to build for that because very few monsters do that that was attack percent man that would be awesome okay so that's all the rage runes um i don't have a ton of fatals i'm gonna keep it just because it's triple s star rune it's kind of nice though <laughs> even for a five star rune uh hp scaling monster right there like a Young. it's a five star rune though i can't i can't do it Side runes are good. Okay, cool. Now we can go to rune alchemy and combined. We just select all, combine. We don't even care. Unless we get a good one that pops out of here. That's going to get fed too.
And then I'll go back and deal with the legendary runes later. So what we're dealing with purple runes right now is I'm just trying to clear out uh, all the rest of my purple runes. I almost have them all gone, all my five stars. I had so many in storage. And once all these are cleared out, then I can just solely focus on uh, the six star runes. All I'm looking for here is a decent legendary that I can then uh, possibly use uh, in the combination as well. Oh, wait, no, we don't want to do that. Deselect. Cool, cool. Okay, so now we've kind of dealt with all the rage runes too. So let's go and just go six star like that. And we've already locked all the six stars we want. So we're good to go. So we'd be a little more picky with some of these. Or a little less picky, I should say. That's not a horrible rune, honestly. It's down there, though. It's a slot one. Man, no luck. Honestly, it's like occasionally flats aren't too bad. Oh, especially when they have really good substats and the stat that you're looking for, the defense. That's an unfortunate one. Could have been really good. That's not bad. That's pretty good. This could be an HP damage dealer right here, like in Miriong. Uh, and Kumar, right? Does no, no, Kumar's defense. Right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like, I could keep that, that around for the bulldozer. You know, eventually I'll have enough nice legendary six-star runes to, to give to some of my other monsters as well. For sure. Once you're at like the end game and you have like really good gems, you have really good powers of ascension, you have really good book stats and all that stuff, the, the flat gems or the flat stats on the uh, on the three stars isn't as big a deal anymore. Early game for sure. All right, should have a lot more room now. I was going to do some of these real quick. I'm going to go grab my food. It's at the door. Uh, What was I doing for this one? I made a whole freaking video about it. This guy. Honestly, Sertidis could do, could work here. <laughs> That's right. I don't think it, they'll, they will always push the end game farther and farther. Like, for instance, NA is finally, like, most of the high-end players have all their six-star to awaken gear good to go. They're starting to re-roll it, and they're about to drop uh, three awakened three awakened weapons here soon, so. Sir Titties is not bad here because he does a little bit of continuous healing, which we don't really need too much because we have the Bastet shields. Uh, but then he also does a strip on his skill two, or his skill one there. 
Just a little extra strip. It's not the fastest, but I'm all about safety because I don't have a lot of time to mess around with stuff. I feel like my Rigel is not putting out what he should be. What was that all about? That was interesting. So maybe not the Sertides. Nice, bro. Congrats. That, that's a big one. When you get that, that first light or dark weapon. The light weapon, obviously better for Cleave. Okay, Rigel, what are you doing? Where, where's your, where's your thing? There. Okay, I didn't really care for that. Hmm. Oh, they could just go segment. Segment would be fine. Or just, you know, the Theomars. Uh, or, you know, Tessarion too. Tessarion would be good. Because uh, the defense breaks. Landing more defense breaks. We'll try that. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab my food. It's at the door. Mine, it should have been at the door. Let's check that. Man, what is going on with my teams right now? Oh, I'll tell you what's wrong with my team. That makes a lot more sense. That's what's wrong with my team. Omega lol. I have a feeling this is going to be a lot better. Just just a, a small feeling. It's almost like the absolute most important monster on this team was not ruined. No, it's definitely Comptuous's fault. That's not human error at all. Much better.
I'll be right back. You just kind of get food ordered. It's just, I don't know why it has to be so difficult all the time. All right. I honestly hate ordering food and having it delivered. I like to just go pick it up. Awaken the weapon, the stats will go... Yeah, exactly. Uh, anytime that you upgrade a weapon to the next level, the stats go away, and they, they re-roll. So, it's a big part of the RNG. So, it's... That was one of the big mistakes I made early on in the game, was, like, hunting for stats. Because, I, you know, I come from Sky Arena, and I'm hunting for stats on my runes. So, I thought I was hunting for stats... My gate people are being weird right now. I live in a neighborhood and they got like this guard that like lets people in and not. And he's being weird and not letting my DoorDash guy.
Alright. Alright, you know what I need? I need more of this. These potions. more of those. Dang it. I need salt and flour. So ready to this to be done. There it is. Boom. <sighs> I need more swallowtail dart. And then this one is just a frick ton of these. This is what's expensive right here. Making these. It's 5,000 each. That's 100,000. Yeah, it's extremely expensive. You'll blow through a couple million easy. Think so? Oh. Oh, yeah. For sure. Maybe it was just the gold at first. I was doing this the other day. I forgot about this. Let's see. Should be a decent amount now. I don't think it's enough. I need, what, 80? Well, that's 160. I need 160 of those, right? Argan Wusa Chloe.
Sorry guys, just having a Texas freaking driver. Can't figure out my place. Okay. Um, yeah, the gold thing is going to be crazy. Um, so next it's these. Um, as of right now, Ferris, no scrolls needed. Because uh, you get the event scrolls. Oof, here we go. See this 200,000? And I did all I did um, a whole summoner's worth of area quests today or not area quests the uh, uh, the hero quests and now we're out of those now so saffron I need to go farm some saffron so I have to auto farm some saffron what else did I need to auto farm to finish this up of these guys, the swallowtail darts. I can get them from guild. Or this guy right here, right? Squad. Uh, I don't need these guys anymore. Talk. Need these guys though. Swallowtail darts. Nobody's ruined though. That's my problem. Ugh. Uh, I wish you could go like I wish you could hold your monsters right here and go ruin them real quick. That's that's a little quality of life thing I would love to have. Because now I just got to go in here, throw on a stupid set of runes, go back out. And then now it's enough. And I'm just going to go and unrune them again here in a second. Probably gonna need more crab. It also just takes so many of these. Jeez. And thankfully they don't cost that much, but like I'll blow through that in a couple days. Oh my god, we're so close. Ah, <sighs> uh, three swallowtail dart. Nah, not selling them. Nobody's selling anything on here. Well. We'll just have to wait till Exploration Man comes back. Oh, I'm sure they do, yeah. It's definitely, they're not selling as much stuff as they used to, for sure. I don't really do the exchange center that much, so I don't really know. Hmm. I'm feeling I'm never going to get my food delivered that I paid for.
literally just need three single Swallowtail Dart. I'm at 79 out of 80 on that Master Quest. So what, one stack, I guess? Um, or Gavin, are you uh Cleef or what? What uh, what summon are you? <laughs> yes, yeah, that is the correct answer. Both. guy's car is just sitting outside the gate and not going in to the thing. Gracias, sir. All right, and so now it's just the, uh, what do we say, saffron? We'll have to auto auto farm that all day. <sighs> okay, anything new? This just reset, actually. I feel like Galleon might, you guys think Galleon will ever get nerfed? I don't know, I don't think he ever will. Cause like he's in one of those situations where it's like, if you nerf him, like he instantly becomes useless. I guess depending on how you nerf him, but the only thing that matters is his uh, three mana cost, defense break, and attack up. All right. Let's do one of these. Oh yeah, a lot of people are using the uh the barcode Lukasha for speed runs. Yeah, sure, if you want to pass it along, Cheddar, that, that works. And we can just do it on stream. Hopefully I have enough gold to finish it off. Uh it's a great question. Probably quite a bit. Because what, it's five? I don't know. A lot. Should I use Annabelle pieces for Charlotte? No, I use Charlotte pieces for Annabelle. It would it would be a lot. I can just auto farm it. I'll auto farm it later and just get it. Uh, I'll get it done. I think my guy is finally going to get it delivered. He's having a hard time with the concept of a gated community. I don't want to get too busy in here. Um, I 
All right, guys. I think uh, we did good today. We did a ton of PvP. Got my guy having trouble. He's probably going to call me in a second, so... Uh, we did good in PvP today, even though we have a 40% win rate. We'll, uh, we'll do some more PvP probably on Thursday. Um, and then we'll uh, obviously wrap up the week on Sunday. We got big um, One Punch Man coming out on Thursday. <laughs> we got big One Punch Man coming out on Thursday. Uh, so that's going to be a big day. So I'll be streaming that day. I don't know. I probably won't necessarily summon that day though because i kind of want to figure out you know let the korean streamers and let them figure out how good they are um and then we'll definitely i mean i'm definitely gonna go for genos you know either way so probably should just summon but yeah so we'll do that on thursday but yeah i'm excited for that um yeah so i'll go ahead and log off i got a little bit of video stuff to do Content's been a little bit slower right now, but obviously it's going to pick up with one punch man. So be cool. All right, guys. Yeah, you should. It's a, it's a great it's a great anime for sure. Really fun anime. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys for hanging out for this kind of uh, start of the week little stream. I normally don't do things on Monday, but I do uh, definitely appreciate you guys hanging out. So. Uh, Thursday, definitely Genos. Genos will be my my summon. Sure. I might wait a couple days. I might wait till like Sunday. See how the uh, Korean streamers say. Like if Genos is really, really bad, maybe I won't. But I appreciate it, guys. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys in either the next live stream or the next video. Peace.